Talofa, welcome back to another video. This is Jesse. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to the Gold Coast. You guys don't know yet, but Pio and I started a business. Fale Coco we're called. We sell salmon uh, cocoa products, so which is salmon cocoa products. So we sell more, we sell salmon hot chocolate, or our version of it, instant hot chocolate or hot cocoa. Uh, we also sell ice cocoa as well, which is our own invention using the coco salmon, which is a an ingredient that Samoans have been loving forever. Coco Samoa is popular in Samoa. It's something that I grew up uh, drinking. So check out our website. I'm gonna post the, uh, the link in the description below. So uh, we deliver to New Zealand, America and Australia. You can order yourself an instant coco uh, pack uh, or keke sanga or masi. But if you come to the market in Brisbane, we also sell uh, pork buns, which is salmon pork buns. We also sell German buns, which is coconut jam buns, and bangi popo, which is coconut rolls. Why are we going to the Gold Coast? So we've been running uh, more local markets now for a couple of months, and it is insane packing and unpacking the gazebo, our little market store, so it's a lot of effort. So we think that it is worth it to invest in a food trailer. So we saw a lady list a food trailer uh, on Marketplace on Facebook. So we're going to go down to the Gold Coast. We're going to view it tomorrow. We're going to stay there for tonight and tomorrow night. So I work full time as well as run this business. So that's something you have to balance and juggle. But look, it's all, I love it. I love hustling. I love working hard and I love, uh, you know, money my own businesses. And I love working for myself. All right, now we're gonna go check out this food trailer. I hope it's really good. If it's really good, we're gonna buy it and hopefully we're gonna have a food trailer and a food truck a lot sooner than later so we don't have to set up and pack down all this equipment at the market store. All we have to do is pull up this trailer and start selling. All right, join us as we take you to potentially look at our future food trailer. Okay, people, we just landed here in the Gold Coast. We are staying at an apartment. It costs us about $120 a night over here. Look at that, it comes with a nice little shelf. It's like a studio apartment. Very nice, that's a little dining table. Got the bathroom in here. Yup. Big bathroom, very nice, very nice. Wow, it's a really nice place. The Gold Coast, hey? Nice little cute kitchen. Very nice. Wow, I like that rustic look they've got going on. See that? Some tea. Ooh, interesting. And coffee, obviously. The couch there. And apparently the views are sitting views. Look at the balcony, it's nice. Look at this. Feels like you're in nature out here. Put in effort, eh? it's very nice. And it is a beach view, so you can get a oh, sea view, fresh view. So you see the view. And down there, you can see that there is a pool and a spa. This is really good. We're on our way to check out the food trailer. About 30 minutes away from our accommodation here in the Gold Coast, the Service Paradise. Uh, fingers crossed this, play, uh, this trailer is really good. Um, it's right within our budget and the color of it is perfect. So I'm really hoping this is good. And I'm also getting really tired of uh, looking. And really for food prep, what they want is the three or four water yeah. Yeah. and uh, yeah. four four four. Yeah. yeah. We have four. There's oh, another yeah. one. The, and this pulls out so oh, it right. reaches what well, doesn't need to reach there, but yeah, yeah. it reaches those four. Um, and they all, they're all functioning, right? They're, they're all, all functioning. Uh, this I have, it's in the car. I normally take that home with me. The pump runs on the battery. So there's the water tank there, 
So there's the water there. Oh yeah. And um, and then there's a heater. Um, so this is all hot water. You can do mm. hot water. Um, and it's connected to the hand as well. The hot water. All of them. Yes. Oh, yes. We just uh, checked out the food trailer. What did you guys think? I did take a little video. Um, it looks good. It looks good. Hey. Yeah, I like it. It works and it's black which is our color and the lady stephanie was really nice as well so she seems very trustworthy um so yeah it all looks in good order so there's a good chance that we are buying the food trailer um, but we'll see we told her that we'll let her know by tonight and uh yeah if all goes well we're picking it up on wednesday or thursday for the latest team food trailer uh that we went and checked out basically ticked all the boxes and uh, the color was perfect. The lady was really nice and the price was pretty reasonable. There were little uh, TLC things that needed some attention, um, but I think it was the one. So guess what? We bought it. Talofa, this is Fale Coco's first ever food trailer. Food, coffee trailer. I'm still trying to, don't know what it is. Food trailer, coffee trailer, coffee truck. Food van. Food coffee van, van, coffee van, but we did it people, we did some work on it. This is basically going to be open soon in Brisbane somewhere. But we got Talofa and that's our menu right up here. So we're gonna sell Bunny Popo, oh sorry, Keke Pua, Bunny Popo, German buns, Bunny Keke, uh, New Zealand style ice cream, thick shakes, ice drinks, so that's ice cocoa and ice coffee, and hot drinks, so that's hot cocoa and coffee. What do you guys think? What do you think? This is it. Let me go inside and show you guys, but the lady was really nice. It came with a, a coffee machine and the grinder that you can see. I've been learning how to make coffee, so I've been making coffee every morning since we got this thing, and I think I've got it down pat, so as you can see, it's on. I need to switch that off, uh, but do you want to come in and check it out? Welcome. Let me uh, show you around. Come on in. So. Now in Brisbane, this is for anyone who wants to uh, start a food truck, food trailer, whatever. For compliance in Brisbane, you need to have three sinks. So if anybody's selling anything that's less than three sinks, is not compliant, you won't be able to get a food license. So we had to get a sink, one with the sink. So this is probably the biggest stressor that we um, were questioning the lady on. Uh, but yeah, and make sure it's hot water as well. We've got a water pump, this thing comes off, you know, like she said. Uh, but it has been really good. So we did fix a few things up. There were some plumbing issues. I had to replace this whole pipe and all the, uh, the waste water. I'll actually show you guys. So I had to replace that pipe and I had to replace all of this. Basically all of this was leaking. So we got a new um, uh, shoulder here. Replaced all of this as well. And this thing, uh, I replaced the whole wastewater tank. The one that was on before was actually um, had a hole at the bottom. And she was using buckets, man, to collect water and wastewater stinks. And yeah, glad we did that. If you come in here, uh, this is going to be for the kikipua or the pork buns, so our steamed pork buns. This is my baby right here. Uh, spent a decent amount of money on that one. It's annoying, but yeah, it was worth it. Fan, we need one more fan. But this thing is a lifesaver because it gets really hot in here. So. That's also good. This is the grinder that came with the, the, the food van. So this is crazy because this is worth like a thousand dollars. So she, I don't know why, but it still works just fine. And also the coffee machine also came with it. This here is one of our, is our ice cream machines. So I don't know if you know much about New Zealand ice cream, but New Zealand ice cream is called real fruit ice cream. Uh, so I'm really excited about this one. We have been selling ice cream for, the, for a couple of months now and it's a, it's a hit, people love it. I guess you could say it's a healthy alternative somewhat over here that's our freezer freezer for our ice cream and our, um, our frozen fruit and over here is our fridge for all our milks and everything else but that's it what do you think welcome to Fale Coco's first uh, store storefront shop cafe food restaurant Hopefully this is the first one and we can buy some more if we grow. So if you want to help your boy grow his business, why don't you come down to the local Ma Brisbane markets, either in Castledine, Nanda or Redcliffe. We will, we do have our social media page for our business. So check it out. I'll put the link in the description for you guys to uh, go have a look. We'll keep 
that up to date in terms of our uh, what markets we're going to be at. We are still trying to sort out the paperwork side. We are trying to finalize our uh, our food license. But the good thing is that I am on leave from work, so I can look after all of that stuff and sort that out in the meantime. So that's why I was able to manage to uh, manage to fix the water, uh, wastewater tank and also the plumbing issues. So I've done some work to the trailer because I'm on leave. Another thing is that. I've uh, ordered some more cocoa from Samoa and there's been some issues with logistics. So I need to go to Samoa people. I am going to be in Samoa this weekend. Again, I'm on leave. So this is, works out perfectly. I'm only going to be there for three days. Going to visit my family as well. I miss them a lot. Can't wait to see them. So I'll be flying out to Samoa. I will show you guys where I grew up. I will show you guys some of my family members probably. And there's a good chance that uh, we'll have a big feed and everybody over. So. I'll show you guys that as well and hopefully I get some time in between the three days to go and explore and do all some touristy things and show you guys maybe some waterfalls or beach or whatever. Alright, now let's go to Samoa. <laughs> I'm in Samoa. This is my cousin Ken Kenneti. Ken. Hello. <laughs> I got here this morning, it was a, a really nice and easy flight. I'm here only for three days, um, I need to sort some stuff out for our business and also I want to come see my family, I've missed everyone so I am very happy to be back home but yeah I'm keen to show you guys around, I'll show you where my hood, where I grew up. No YouTube page. This is my cousin Fawa. Hey Fawa. Yeah. <laughs> he's my older cousin, he's, my, he's like my older brother. But this is my village by the way. This is Topo Topo. All of this. Where I grew up. Okay, people, welcome to my childhood home. So, this is where I grew up. <laughs> the old toilet is still here. So, this is basically where I grew up. Right here. Let's see if I can still walk down how far I can walk down to so back in the day when I grew up here this is all well this road here this path is where we would go down to um, have a shower and get drinking water from the tap which was way further down at the time that's my cousin Lisa's house over there I'll go see her some other time maybe tomorrow but This is all of this. So my auntie Millie, so my auntie Millie, um, she runs a florist business. So if you're in somewhere actually, if you need um, uh, flowers for any events, my auntie caters to all of that. Uh, but yeah, so this is her, all her flowers, or well, some of them. She does very well, very nice. So yeah, this is where I grew up, people. This is where the traveling Polynesian is from. I'll show you my childhood home. So this, I grew up with my grandparents. So the house I'm about to show you is my grandfather and grandmother's house. In Samoa, traditionally, kitchens are normally outside the house. That used to be the old kitchen. And that's the old house there. So, Right now, nobody really lives up here. My auntie normally would come up here to uh, get her flowers because this is where she grows majority, grows majority of her flowers. But this house here is my childhood home.
almond, almond tree has been there for a long time. Let me take you guys up to the front. So, yeah, this is my village. So this is called Tapatapa Um All of this is now just flowers and gardens and everything. Wow, this brings back so much memories. So we normally used to chill out at the front here at night time. That's our local church over there. And this is a view from where we are here. Okay. All right, people, so that's a quick video of, uh, of a tour, a tour, you would say, of my home uh, village here in Samoa. I'm glad I'm back. It always feels good to come back home. It's long overdue. Last time I was here was seven years ago. Um, but let me show you guys some drone shots now. Okay, people, so we uh, just dropped off the. Uh, so, my auntie runs a florist business. Now, for the Ngole, you're missing a Yeah. You're missing a Siam, maybe? Miriama's florist. Miriama's florist. I'll drop the link down below. If, if you're living in Samoa, if you guys need anything for events, weddings, church events, uh, my auntie does florists. Right now, we are heading into Opia. This is the main town of Samoa. I haven't been here in seven years. Okay, people, we just pick up, picked up the authentic salmon pork bun. Here we go. So in Samoa, they preferably deep fry their pork buns. That's how they normally like to. The, the white sauce is new. But I've been looking forward to trying one of these for a while now. So I'm really keen to try it. Oh, oh man. Mm -hmm. So good. Really good. So good. Nothing beats the salmon pop on it. We're looking for my auntie's uh, block, my auntie Maple. She also has a block here somewhere. To pay her a visit. So this is the market. So this is where the main hub of um, Samoa. Everybody comes here to sell their produce. Fresh produce, Coco Samoa. That right there is Coco Samoa. This is my auntie Maple. This is my 
my mom's sister. Hey, Auntie. <laughs> I'm at uh, my cousin Rudy's, or well, my Auntie Millie's uh, florist stand. And my Kiki. What's up, Rudy? What's up, everyone? <laughs> Okay, people, we just got back to the house. At the moment, I'm trying to get back to. I'm trying to go visit my cousin Lisa, who is she lives on the other side from where we are. So there normally used to be a route that you could get to from here to Lisa, but looks like it's a bit overgrown now. Ugh, hope I don't get bitten by. Ooh, so inside more. There's not many, like, there's no poisonous snakes or anything. However, there is most definitely centipedes around here. So, right here, it's Lisa's house. Okay. Let's go see if she's here. If she doesn't have dogs. Uh, if she doesn't have dogs get eaten by dogs but this is Lisa's place My cousin Lisa's place okay people I am going to try traditional salmon food this is we call it Ailengi here's camera <laughs> YouTube channel so this is coconut cream with um, with fish onions this is luau uh, so this is basically taro leaves in coconut cream it's one of my favorites and taro this is staple in Samoan culture so taro is our main staple it's like our rice so what you do is you take a piece of taro and you dip it in So, okay, and then eat it. Say muscles. Say muscles. Oui, oui. 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 Every, every Sunday, our families get together and we have a Sunday feast after church. Yeah. <laughs> Saying goodbye to me today. Oh, my God. 
Just made it to Tongi Tonginga waterfall. I've actually never been here before, so this is the first time for me. Um, it's a reserved a national park here in Samoa. Uh, we we did pass. We went, went to a beach earlier, but there was too many people there, so we decided to push on. And now we're at this nice waterfall. So I'm really hoping to get into the water because I'm really, it's really hot. <laughs> And I'm sweating right now, so super keen for the water right now. Let's have a look. Here with the family. I don't know if this is the right way. Here, people in there. Hello, niece. Hello. It's Rudy. Ready, more. Kira. Kira. Eu 
Fees are normally can range anywhere from 20 tala or more per car, not per person. Now the uh, waterfall that I was swimming in earlier. Now for the waterfall, long pass your The waterfall that you saw me swimming earlier, Tong Tong Yinga, is actually free. So the first time I've actually gone somewhere, gone somewhere to, in Samoa, we didn't have to pay. I'm not sure why you don't have to pay, but it's actually something new. So. If you want to go check out a place in Samoa where you don't have to pay a fee, go to Tongi Tominga Waterfall. Otherwise, if you go to Tosua, Biula, Lalomanu Beach, Mata River Beach, most of the beaches you have to pay a fee. But the reason why you have to pay a fee is because those uh, attractions are not owned by the government, they're owned by the villages, and the villages have to maintain the beaches. So. Uh, the money that you pay goes towards that. Uh. 